So for an ongoing project, I uh, need NDI to work in Unreal Engine 5. Unfortunately, NewTek didn't update their plugin yet, so I made a little modified version to at least receive NDI. Sending kinda works, uh, but still work in progress because the quality uh, is not up to par. So to start up, we're just gonna do uh, download the plugin. And once it's downloaded, we're gonna make sure to extract it. So. And here we have the plugin that we can drop into the plugins folder of UE5. So let's start with creating a blank project. And once we create a project, we're gonna move to the folder. We're gonna create a new folder. It's called plugins. And we're gonna copy and paste the NDI plugin folder. And the next thing we need to do is close the project. We open it. And then we go to plugins, virtual production, and we see it's actually already activated. So to uh, receive an NDI signal, we're gonna uh, add a blueprint, actor, receiver, EP. We're gonna add a and the receiver component, we're gonna do a we're gonna compile, we're gonna create a new asset and the media receiver. And we're gonna just gonna save it here. Then in the event graph, we're gonna pull in the NDI receiver. Um, start receiver uh, of course we need an NDI source so to create a quick NDI source we're gonna just use the test patterns of NDI and here in the studio monitor we can see that we actually have it and we're gonna do find network source by name The source name you can see here in the studio monitor. So that's gonna be desktop T5 E V V R D space test pattern. Save this and go to the NDI receiver. We need to create a NDI media texture 2D. Also, just gonna save this. And now, when we add, for instance, a shape, a plane, and we're gonna drag this texture onto it, it will create automatically a uh, material. Uh, and to start the NDI receiver, you just drag this one in. Uh, because of course, it needs to start when the level starts to play. And now if we hit play, uh, we can see that the desperate pattern is seen within Unreal. And that's basically it.